And now I lost 44 pounds. I understand how the process goes. That's the difference. Before I was doing Weight Watchers, low fat, you know, aerobics in my living room. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I have an amazing story for you. So if you're in need of a little bit of inspiration, this one's incredible. Today I'm sharing an interview with Guilen, who's been a longtime subscriber on my channel, and I've been following her story, and it is truly incredible. So I knew I had to bring her on the channel so that you guys could hear her story, and not just the weight loss that she's achieved, which already is fantastic. She's lost about 44 pounds, but also how much this has changed her life. You'll be able to see it just in the way she's talking. She's so happy and so positive and it was just such a pleasure speaking with her so i'm really excited to introduce you guys to guilen yes so my name is guilen Lenwer. i'm 61 years old and i live in canada and all my life you know i've been chubby as a child overweight as a teenager and obese as an adult and i've gone through a lot of diets five times i lost from 30 to 60 pounds but gained them all back this summer i felt really bad i felt you know like I had heartburn, heart palpitation, and I was really scared. So I thought I need to do something. And I looked up on YouTube how to cut sugar because that's what that's what I am. I ate sugar. I eat everything sweet. So I looked up how to cut, you know, down on sugar. And your video came up, and I was listening to it. And the more I heard you say, "Burn your fat," and you know, like the the hormones and the protein, fat, and fiber, I thought, wow, this, she's on, you know, this is something. So I, I watched many videos, and especially the video that you talk about cutting calories. Now, don't count calories, it doesn't work. I thought, there, there you go. So I watched a whole bunch of videos, and now, and I started, let's say, in the fall, in mid-November, and now I lost 44 pounds wow. since then, and I'm very grateful to you because your programs and your videos, they're so easy to understand. What was your journey like? Did it start, you cut sugar, and then you started to walk, and then you started to intermittent fast, or like, what did it look like? When I started cutting out sugar, uh, I lost like nine pounds over two months. I started in September, and then I started intermittent fasting in November. Then after that, I lost like the 34 pounds. At the beginning, you don't know the, with the food thing, but as I went along, I, I watched videos again, and I got your program where there was many recipes. I got like, first I started with the seven free recipes. Uh -huh. And I look at the ingredients and I, I started getting it. I started with 12, 12, 12 hours fasting, 12 hours eating, three meals a day, no snack. And I did this for six months and I had results. I had results, but then I moved to 16, eight because when I was waking up in the morning, I was not hungry. And I thought, yay, this is, this means I'm burning my fat. Like my energy in the morning comes from my fat, you know, slowly, but surely. And now I'm, I try to be creative. I try to, I, I got your other programs. The resources are amazing. And I go on the Facebook group and there's so many people that are so positive. I'm so enthusiastic. I, I, I understand what you explained and I, running with it and it's working <laughs> what was that like first just cutting out sugar yeah, well i had sugar cravings but because i had so much success by cutting out the sugar i lost like weight i i was unbloated all of a sudden and i'm i i was mo very motivated not to eat sugar period i was looking out for sugar and not having it because it was working i didn't suffer i didn't suffer from that i i don't have any craving for sugar uh, or for other foods I, you know, I transform my relationship with food. I am no longer comforting myself with food. That is really powerful for me because that's what all I was doing. I was eating protein, fat, and fiber, and I wasn't hungry after, you know? I, so I, I didn't have any dessert, which is fine. And when I had cravings, I would drink water. Because mm -hmm. basically, if I know that I ate protein, fat, and fiber, then I shouldn't be hungry. There you go. And if I feel a little something, I drink water. And that just goes away and then I have my, my third meal. But when I got 68, then I just had two meals and that's fine. I, I just, it's going, it's going great. But like I said, six months with 12, 12, three meals a day, no snack. It works. It, when, I guess maybe when you have a lot of weight to lose, you know, because I was 231 and now I'm like 187, I still have a lot of, of, of weight to lose, but I know that I will lose it. Yeah. I will lose it. I'm confident. You said that you had previously done like, 
a lot of other things. And so it had resulted in maybe some yo-yoing, gaining back the weight that you had lost, you know, that, that whole thing that a lot of people experience. What is it that you feel like makes it different now? Like, why is it that you feel confident now that you, this is something that you can maintain? Because the way you explain it, because intermittent fasting and AEN, which is autoimmune nutrition, I understand how the process goes. That's the difference. Before I was doing Weight Watchers, low fat, stuff the insanity. I was doing aerobics in my living room. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was um. still eating bad food for me. My temperament, my body, you know, I, I, I was not pre-diabetic or anything like that, but I, I have a insulin resistance. That, I understand that. Before, my trainers at the gym or my Weight Watcher lady in the front, she had no clue. Yeah. So I was counting calories and things like that. That's what I was doing and that's, that doesn't work. It, it, it's not sustainable. This is sustainable. That's why I know that I will lose the weight. And maybe that's the next video, but you, you will see, you know, I'm, I'm so enthusiastic about this. The difference is now I know what I'm doing and I'm not hungry and I don't have cravings. And when I look at my plate, I see to myself, is this going to bring me closer to my goal or it's going to take me away from my goal? Because I think oftentimes when people hear that without experiencing this sense of satiety, you know, a lot of people don't even know what it feels like to feel satiated. So to hear you say maybe like, oh, I know that this will support my goals versus this won't. Do you feel like that's a sense of discipline that you have to enact where you're telling yourself, no, I can't have that? Or is it more of a sense of knowing that these foods will make me feel good and, and will help me to achieve my goals? I put my plate, it's full, full of fiber, full of protein, full of fat, which is really good. <laughs> you know, if you had told me you're gonna have, you can have butter with uh, whipped cream, cheese, I would say get out. I, I wouldn't have believed it. I'm full. I, I can't eat anymore, honestly. So yeah. it's like my stomach shrunk. I must have shrunk because now I don't have heartburn. I don't have heart palpitation. This is something that I got. Herbs is health. I got it back. I got color, color back because before I was really in a bad spot. You know. You mentioned that there are a lot of different things other than the weight loss that, which is great. But other than the weight loss, you experienced so many other changes. You want to tell us a little bit more about that? Well, on the health front, like I said, uh, you know, I had, and you know, on my fingers, I had little red bumps okay that when i was closing my hand like this it was really burning and my doctor had told me oh this is a neto immune uh, phenomenon you know like your body is fighting your own body and i thought okay but now i don't have those things anymore mm -hmm. you know it's it's my health it's the fact that i move i i walk i bicycle and now i do resistant training i started that Oh, I was resisting doing that when I, I started. I feel so much solid, you know, like when I walk, I feel solid. I feel my body is getting uh, stronger, which I never felt before when I was doing the Weight Watchers or the other thing. Honestly, I'm just happy. I'm just so happy. And, you know, every day is a new thing. Like you mentioned, you want to inspire those women who have done so many things in the past that haven't worked. So what, what tips or advice would you give them? You have to watch your videos. <laughs> you have to go slow. You know, like start 12, 12, three meals and then see how your body responds. And then when you're ready to move to 16, it, you have absolutely fantastic videos on that subject. Adapt your meal eating what you love, but mm -hmm. eat it differently. Get things that support you. For instance, these AirPods here. I bought these in April, and this is when I started walking. Mm -hmm. And I thought, while I'm walking, I'm gonna listen to Arm's videos. And that's how I got to listen to all your videos <laughs> while walking. The air fryer, I got this little French press coffee maker that's just, just like create possibilities for me. When you go through this, and you lose, you have some progress, you're losing some weight, you deserve it. Get things that support you. Get things that support you in your in your journey and you're just gonna have success. So what does what does a day of intermittent fasting look like for you? At 10 30, I have coffee. So I have one coffee. Of course <laughs> sometimes I'd like to have another one, but I say to myself, no, it's not gonna taste as good. Yeah. <laughs> so I have one coffee at around 10 30 and then I go to lunch at 12 and then dinner at around 5 30 and then after that i don't eat i don't eat between meals and i've stopped eating around 6 6 30 and then i 
just go all the way to the next morning, 1030. Because you have been able to add in and layer in so many great strategies along your wellness journey, removing the sugar, adding in intermittent fasting, adding walking, now strength training. If someone were brand new and they were feeling overwhelmed, you know, they might be hearing all these different things, thinking they have to do it all at once. What is the one thing you'd say, start here and then you will add these on later? Yeah, I would say just go slow, intermittent fasting, 12 hours, three meals a day, and no snacking and mm -hmm. watch autumn. <laughs> Get her programs and all, all these amazing recipes that you have. It's just a gift, I tell you. Now, if you wanna check out the complete intermittent fasting bundle, which is what Len is following, I'll have the details linked down description below, but you can also find it on my website at autumnlnutrition.com forward slash shop. Now, if you wanna continue this inspiration train, I have another really great interview with Jeanette that you can check out right here. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.